To install the wall box, leave a wall opening of at least 30 by 70 centimeters, plus an extra 2 centimeters around the edge for the expanding foam filler. Leave space above the unit for connecting the ducts. Prepare a suitable channel for the condensate hose. Measure the thickness of the external wall. Take into account the extra thickness of the internal plaster. The wall box can be cut to the customer's dimensions at the factory on request. If the wall box needs shortening on site, remove the outer cover and pull the condensate hose into the position shown. Then cut the wall box to the dimensions of the wall, including the internal plaster. The outer side of the wall box is later rendered with the external wall. The wall box can now be inserted into the wall. Insert the condensate hose through its channel before aligning the wall box vertically. Then hold it in place with wedges or air cushions. Ensure that you insert it flush with the internal plaster. Then fill the gaps with suitable expanding foam filler. To connect the condensate hose, first cut the hose to the required length under the wall box and secure the connection with the hose clamp. Connect it to the condensate siphon and connect the pipe to the drain. Ensure that the pipes are protected from the risk of freezing. Lay the ventilation ducts in the concrete reinforcement grid. When connecting the exhaust valve sockets, ensure that the seals are properly fitted and push the duct in as far as it will go. Place the exhaust sockets in their openings and attach the ducts to the concrete reinforcement grid. Now connect the exhaust ducts to the openings on the top of the wall box. Make sure the ducts are inserted as far as they will go to ensure a secure connection. The electrical cable is routed into the inside of the wall box through the cable conduit on top of the wall box. Seal the remaining gaps around the wall box with mortar. Open the wall box and seal the cable conduit entry point before filling the opening above the wall box with concrete. When the concrete is dry, remove the shuttering board, clean the edges and create an airtight connection with the wall box using sealing tape. After the building has been rendered and painted, remove the protective red plastic and the outer cover from the masonry. Measure the required depth using the telescopic adapter and cut it with a saw at the appropriate marking. Before fitting, apply Otocol sealant around the inner edge to seal the gap between the telescopic adapter and the wall. 
When the telescopic adapter is flush with the wall, secure it on the left and right with a countersunk screw. Use Otocol and the sealing tape provided to make a waterproof and airtight seal between the wall box and the telescopic adapter and between the external wall and the telescopic adapter. Then secure the metal base plate to the telescopic adapter with six screws. Make sure the connection between the upper edge and the render is waterproof. Finally, hook in the outside hood at the bottom and secure it with two screws. To install the exhaust valve, open the air inlet completely. Then insert it into the exhaust socket. Thanks to the spring clips, you don't need any screws for this. To install the Free Air 100, first remove the two red locking pins on the back of the unit and seal the openings with the pre-fitted sealing tape. Secure the supply air filter with the four 20mm countersunk screws provided. Turn the unit over. Now you can make the required settings on the dip switches to configure the unit. Now carefully fit the front plate and secure it with four screws. Slide the stainless steel air outlet under the front of the unit and secure it with screws. Remove the polystyrene cover and clean the wall box. If the condensate hose has been connected during the wall box installation, Open the condensate drain with the tool provided and inject the separating agent. After the power supply has been professionally connected, turn the connection plate to the correct position and secure it with screws. Now coat the sealing strips on the unit with the silicone grease provided and push the unit into the wall opening as far as it will go. Switch the unit on for commissioning. Wait until only blue LEDs are shown. Press and hold the button on the front until you hear four beeps to start and stop the turbo mode test. Now you can connect the unit to a laptop for commissioning. Record the settings in the commissioning report and activate the wireless function of the free air unit if required. You have now successfully installed the free air 100 ventilation unit. Blue Martin, more efficient ventilation, improved sleep, healthier living.